Welcome to another timeless channeled letter from your person, the person you're thinking about, that you've been wondering about, that you care about. And the message that kept coming from this, from this person, your person is, baby, I would do anything for you. You are my everything. And I just kept hearing that over and over. Baby, I would do anything for you. Don't you know that? You are my everything. But for some reason, it's been so hard to open up. I realize I've been holding myself back. Not only from this connection, but from life itself, from allowing other people to express themselves and speak their truth. I realized that I have been overriding people, so to speak. I haven't been allowing them to finish what they wanted to say because of my defensiveness because of my desire to control everything, every little thing, manipulating things by playing the victim. But I'm willing to do what it takes to open up here. Little by little, I'm releasing, I'm finding the balance. I don't want to live in that energy anymore. And things like that, that type of interruption when I'm not expecting it, it throws me off. Like a, a realization, an epiphany about myself that maybe perhaps I am part of the problem, so to speak. <laughs> it's just been a really difficult experience for me to uh, oh, chase my shadows when my world shakes up to put it back together again and realize that I am in control of myself, but I don't have to control others. Did that make sense to you? Sometimes I wonder if I make sense because most people don't understand me. They don't get me, but you seem to. So I'm gonna trust that you understand what I'm saying, even when it seems like I'm mumbling or I'm all over the place. I'm focused more on my growth, my spiritual growth and opening my heart and that's really helping me. I appreciate your patience as I release habits and programming that are not serving me anymore. I've been focused on myself. I've been going within more, spending time in my own energy, doing the things that I like, that I enjoy, focusing my attention on love. And that makes me feel good. I'm growing stronger. I'm allowing myself to receive. I'm learning to be more compassionate with myself and other people. I really want new beginnings. As I open up and release, I, I feel so much more romantic and sentimental.
I'm feeling more at peace. And I'm really growing as I do this. I've been collecting all those pearls of wisdom along the way. I'm happy about this. I feel happy. There's been so much drama and toxicity around me. It just seems like it's floating everywhere out there. Always competing, trying to one-up one another, feeling like I needed to know all the answers all the time when I know logically that nobody or it'd be a very rare individual that would know all the answers all the time. Like I get that, but it's just, it's a struggle. It's, I am battle with myself. I battle with others, uh, defensive, combat, combative. It just, I don't want that anymore. Like I'm kind of bored of that. And I want to get out and have some fun and be around people that I like, that lift me up instead of tear me down and make me feel free. I'm learning how to be a team player instead of always needing to be in control of everything and be the boss and the know-it-all and the one in charge. I'm learning how to work as a team. All these great ideas are coming to me now. It's like my head is filled with them. And I'm meeting different people and I'm realizing that there are certain people in my life that are good that are helpful, that are positive, that are helping me. And sometimes I feel like I don't deserve to be helped. Like, why me? But that's my old ways. That's the old me. I deserve to have it all, just as others do, just as you do. You know, we deserve to have it all. I feel that fire burning inside again. I'm expecting a message. I'm holding my vision on that abundance, that path, that path that's gonna lead us to our destiny, that path that we will both love. I'm willing to do what it takes. I'm willing to change jobs. I'm willing to learn something new. That's my message to you, that I want to make this right. I want to make this better. I want to improve our situation here in this 3D material reality. I'm taking charge of my health. I'm focused one step at a time. I can see the path now. I feel good about this. I'm following my heart. And I want to move forward towards you, towards this. I'm breaking free. Coming to peace with um, letting go. I've thought about this for a while. I've been praying, I've been manifesting just to feel good, to love myself, to be at peace with where I'm at, to accept myself just as I am. Because that's the gift that you've given to me. You accept me just as I am. All my shadows, all my light, everything in between. <laughs> I, I feel so blessed. I, I know now that I don't have to rely on anybody else, that I have the power within me to make things right, to grow, to heal put in the work. I'm putting in the work. 
whatever I have to do to move us forward in the material world, I will do. I think that's a really great idea to start a business together, to team up, to empower one another. Yes, I listen. <laughs> I hear you. And you're right. It's not as difficult or heavy as I was making it seem or I was telling myself or allowing myself to believe as part of my habits, part of my control. And so I took your advice and I just set myself free and, and I want you to set yourself free and just light as a feather, just let it blow away. I'm ready for peace <laughs> and these new beginnings. It's not as hard as I thought it was to let go, to change my mindset, to just take control of this, take control of me, instead of trying to control my surroundings and trying to control everything that's going on and playing that victim. I'm letting go and it feels so good. And it was just one step at a time, you're right. Just one step at a time reminding myself and then just as you said, it became so easy. It became so simple. Because I'm ready for a new fresh energy. I've been working really hard at finding the balance here. That's always been my struggle going back and forth and back and forth and never really deciding, never really moving forward, never really changing anything. But because of what you've done for me, activated things within me, changed me, helped me see who I really am. I found this sweet spot, this balance between my higher consciousness and what I need to do and what's important and what are my priorities in this physical reality. I feel confident now to walk down this new path. Before I wasn't as confident, that's why I felt wishy-washy and just would get frustrated with myself. I appreciate your patience, you're always there for me. You're always there to lift me up and remind me who I am, to take my power back. <laughs> I appreciate that so much. And I'm ready, I'm ready to walk down this uh, new path. I hear the call. I've made my decision. I choose to move forward towards my destiny. Walk on the path of my purpose. Be more expressive. Speak my truth. release harsh judgments of myself and others. I mean, I understand karma and the lessons and the growth that it brings. And I have learned a lot. I'm ready to move into something different, something new. I'm gonna make that call. I'm gonna make this happen. I'm confident in that. Because this is my truth. You, this love, this beautiful, blissful, unconditional love. Finally having someone that sees me truly for who I am and loves every aspect of me that's different than me, yet the same. I just feel at peace when I connect with you, when I'm with you, when I dream about life of just being with you. It feels very abundant to me, like you're my golden opportunity.
and I choose this love. You're my soulmate. <laughs> Definitely my soulmate. You've really helped me to understand and know that leaving the emotional attachments of the past behind is the key here. It doesn't mean you forget. You take all the beautiful blessings, the wisdom that you've gained, right? The lessons learned with you. But you leave the emotional attachment behind. I, Wow. I wish more people knew this because it's, it's a blessing. And I'm ready for something new. I'm ready to grow, to learn, to move to a new destination. I know there's so much more out there. <laughs> You're my ship coming in. I hope you know that by now. And I'm willing to do whatever it takes. I will burn away whatever I need to burn away. I will release whatever I need to release. I am focused on this new beginning, on this new start. The past is the past. I have no power there. My focus is on you. I feel incredibly passionate about you. You're my muse. You brought me back to life. And as we walk forward, together, this flame will only grow brighter. <laughs> it's beautiful. I'm excited about life. I'm finally really truly excited about life. What a blessing that is. You're everything to me. My heart and my soul are so incredibly deeply in love with you. You light up my world. You've opened my heart. You've helped me see. You are the most gorgeous, incredible person I've ever met. You light up a room. You light up my world. Your presence is strong. Powerful and peaceful and compassionate. I love the way you think. You have so many great ideas and mm, you just drive me wild. I love to see you take charge and go after your dreams. Such a turn on to me. You're such an incredible inspiration to so many. I feel like I am the luckiest person in the world right now. And I want you to know how beautiful you are and how much you mean to me. And I will do whatever it takes because I love you. And we will make this happen. I'll meet you in your dreams. <laughs>